Which country lit the way as the Roman Empire crumbled to dust? Join me to explore how India became a veritable festival of light in this next episode of the series Lighting Through the Ages. India is for us archaeologists the best source, living source, of what happened in the Roman times. In the Roman times it was not only about lighting the home or lighting the professional life, it was also about venerating its ancestors at home and a source of symbol of power. So we find that everywhere in India, Indians have private altars at home, they have private altars on their professional play workplace and they use lamps and they offer lamps to the temples each time they can. The only difference during the Roman Empire these lamps were never lightened. In Indian mentality you have to light them because the flame links you, the mortal, to the infinite God. An amazing thing as power is concerned is this lamp. This lamp is exactly in a smaller kind, the lamp which has to be lighted at each session of the Indian Parliament. When there is an inaugural session, clearly the first minister lights this lamp. And this lamp is particularly important because it shows how humble we have to be facing the deities. The bird is not a hazard. The bird must transcribe to the god in a very nice sound, listenable to their ears, the blah 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 we are making as human, which is not understandable from the gods. On the same way, they have Diwali. Diwali is a festival of lights and it's dedicated to Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the virgin goddess of light. And if you're a Christian, if you're a Jew, if you're a Muslim, you can address to your own deity through Lakshmi. And that was also the syncretism we had during the Roman Empire. You can pray whatever sanctuary, it didn't matter. You had your prayers vacillated by a god to another one. Another very important thing, in a temple in India there is no more catastrophe than the sacred light going out. And never forget that during all the Roman Empire with all the modern progresses the Roman Empire did, the Vesta temple, held by virgins, who hold the sacred fire sent by God through thunder, could never, never extinguish. It would have been the end of Rome. So these are the kind of stuff we are really impressed to look at because the private altars, the public altars, professional altars, and the light as a symbol of a power, even during daylight, when Gandhi made his trip around India, everybody was handing lightened lamps, and it was the same on the late Roman emperors. The light was a symbol of their divine power. Next, how did the Dark Ages herald an amazing new era in lamp making? Subscribe to this fascinating series, Lighting Through the Ages. Click on the bell to hear about new episodes as they become available. Why not check also other series in our science channel? This one on wearable technologies, for instance, or this on amazing inventions.